everyone, and thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson, and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 26. This week, I'm going to share an inside into how I took a certain shot that everybody's been asking about. So as you can see right now, here's the shot um, that I took. This is the edited version that was posted um, on my Facebook page. And everybody was asking, you know, how did you take this? And was the baby really on the tire? And I have to say, yes, the baby was really on the tire. Um, right now, you're gonna be looking at the original image that was taken straight out of the camera. And then I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step how I got to the final product. Okay, so here we are. I'm just doing the um, marquee tool around the left hand side of the image because what we're going to do is copy this side of the page. So I'm going to feather it at about um, 10 and then we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it and um, we're going to flip it onto the other side. So here we go. We're going to move it over. We're just going to try and match up the tire a little bit. And um, what we want to do is uh, is to get rid of the mum's um, arm there. So now we're just going to erase around the tire and uh, get rid of those lines there. Get rid of the baseboard and. Uh, there we go. We're just going to change the opacity there on the eraser. And here we're going to erase more around the tire, the middle there. Okay, so zooming in a little bit, we still need to, uh, to fix up the tire here. We're going to make the brush a little bit uh, not so feathered. erase a little bit more here there we go it's looking a bit better good so those last minute uh, little details will clean up and I'm just doing this really quickly for you just to just to give you an idea of how you would do this so we're gonna take the clone stamp now and uh, we're gonna flatten the image there and uh, the benefit with CS5, and, and I think it's with um, CS3 and possibly CS2, I'm not sure, but the, um, the history eraser tool is such a fantastic tool. Um, you can go back and, uh, and just erase over anything that you've done that, uh, that you weren't happy with, and it'll take you back to the original image. So now we're just going to clone around here. We're going to clone out the, um, the thumb there. Okay, so we're just trying to keep this as smooth as possible. Again, guys, I'm just trying to do this quickly to uh, to show you, but you could zoom in even uh, even further and clean it up a little bit more. So here we go. Okay, so we're just taking the last minute kind of details. Then uh, okay, we're gonna get a softer brush, move in here, kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, so we're getting the uh, eraser, the history eraser, and uh, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And we're just going to take this back to the, the original there. Okay, just went a little bit too far. You can go back in your history, so we just did. Okay, looking good. So we're going to zoom out. So we still have to get rid of the uh, the corner there, the uh, arm. So we're going to take the um, the clone tool, make it a little bit bigger and uh, a little bit bigger yet. And we're going to just clone the uh, the background and fill it all in there. And we have it feathered. Uh, so it's a nice, um, nice consistency there, not too hard. Okay, so then what we're going to do after we're done this is uh, we're going to go back to the um, history and uh, we're going to change the opacity back to get it back to the original um, background. So 
We're gonna feather it as much as possible, kind of take this off so it kind of blends. And um, and then we're gonna change the opacity. And there you go, it's starting to, uh, everything's starting to blend there. Looking good. And there you have it. So the, um, the arm is completely out of the picture. I just wanna thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's tip. And I hope you got something out of this one and we will see you next week. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.